There is no need to adjust your televisions. You're not watching the Spanish soap opera channel looking extra handsome. I get it. You're confused. I'm confused. But what you won't be confused about is this clone house that reached out and sent your boy a few fragrances. I believe it's called Montagna or Montagni. Something in that space. I believe it's pronounced Montagna or Montagne. Parfums, and they got very affordable fragrances in the clone space that I personally am not familiar of. So we got three different fragrances here ranging from Tiger cologne, meteorite, and imaginary. I have no idea what these fragrances smell like. I like the price point, but are they any good though? Only one way to find out. Let's roll my music so we can do a first impressions and unboxing of Montagna Parfums Budget Clones. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Montagna for sponsoring today's video and sending these fragrances over for review. I put little post it notes in the back of each one of these fragrances so I know what the hell they are because the only one that I could personally figure out was kind of the obvious, which is Tiger Cologne, which is Bulgari Tiger's interpretation. But the other two are not only clones of fragrances that I don't recall smelling, they both happen to be from the house of. Louis Vuitton. So this one is Meteorite, which is Meteor for Louis Vuitton. And this one is Imaginary, which is Imagination. Although I think I have smelled Imagination. I actually think I had Imagination at one point, but let me see if I have it again. Nope, I don't. So the price point for this particular clone brand is hovering in the space of like 40 to $65. They did provide us with a promo code. I'll put the link in the description. We'll save you 15% off. So that was very gracious of you. So you're gonna be living in that $40, possibly sub $40 space. Clean presentation, nice box look. Let's see what the actual fragrances look like. Unpack this joint, comes wrapped in a little paper joint, who cares? And they have that kind of Lalabo-esque minimalistic look. It's got the typing on it and the actual notes of the Montaigne fragrances. Now this is Tiger Cologne, which consists of boxing, grapefruit, and woody notes, and it's crafted in NYC. So we gotta show New York a little love, right? You know, if my peoples in NYC is jumping into some clone shit, hopefully you do some good work. And if you suck, well, I'ma be honest and say that you suck. Now in some of these fragrances, I can't say if the fragrance is an exact clone or not because I might not remember them. I'm not familiar with them. But in this particular case for Bulgari Tiger, I'm quite familiar with that scent DNA and it'll give me an idea of how the fragrance performs, if it feels overly synthetic, if it's wildly shitty, or if it's even close to Bulgari Tiger. Only one way to do that though, right? It is definitely Bulgari Tiger, one million percent. On the lighter side of Bulgari Tiger, the Bulgari Tiger actually comes off a little bit abrasive and brash. It feels like it has a stronger vetiver punch that's slightly scratchy and extra musky. This one is not. This one is kind of more on the smoother, more buttery aspect, which is fine. I don't know how that affects the performance, so to speak, because right now off the test strip, it's not necessarily blasting off of it. But when I tell you that it's Bulgari Tire 100%, yeah, we're there. The grapefruit and Ambroxan really take over this entire scent. It is a very pleasing scent profile, very sexy, ultra mass appealing, super signature. Might lean a little bit more warmer weather, but in this particular case, there's also a subliminal woody and powderiness coming off this fragrance that is very like, Mm, class. So far, this smells very good. It's Ambroxan, it's mildly powdery. It's got a nice sourness about it. There's a little bit of a vetiver dryness. There's a beautiful musky essence. Very classy, very mature, very budget considering that Bulgari Tiger, even on the gray market, is definitely over a $200 price point. And this is living in that $45 space before any coupon. So, so far, definitely gotta try it on the skin, but first impressions, definitely Bulgari Tiger space. A little bit lighter, but we'll see how it performs on the skin. Let's move to the next one. Now we're gonna be trying Meteorite, which is Louis Vuitton's Meteor, which is not a fragrance that I'm familiar with. So this will give me a good stepping stone on what this fragrance is gonna potentially smell like. Now, luckily these fragrances do have the notes on them, so it consists of orange, bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, and vetiver. There's nothing here that sounds wildly offensive or trash. And Louis Vuitton fragrances, ah, they're kind of hit or miss. Some of them are just really unenthusiastic. They're just solid fragrances with an extraordinarily high price point. Like if you put them in a 
cheaper presentation and took the Louis Vuitton name on, a lot of people would be underwhelmed, but let's see what this does. Super clean, clean, soapy, almost aquatic. The funny thing is it mentioning vetiver and pink pepper, I'm not getting a ton of that. I'm getting a shower freshest, semi-aquatic, non-salty, masked floral on the white floral aspect. Sexy, very easy to wear, dumb reach fragrance. You can potentially wear this to the gym as it has this refreshing soapiness about it that you're not gonna smell like straight up asshole or dirty BO when you're wearing this joint in the gym. It's gonna help mask all that testosterone and HGH that's just leaking out of your pores. See, here's my thought with this particular fragrance. Now I don't know the original, right? But if this is a strong clone of the original, for me what it says is Louis Vuitton is just fisting you with all this money for a fragrance that really isn't complicated. You're just getting a really pleasing, easy to wear, more on the softer, lighter scent profiles. Like this for the price point that this joint is, which is also in that $45 space, is great and easy, throw it in your bag, set it and forget it type fragrance. But if I'm gonna pay 300 some odd dollars on a retail, I, I'd be pissed. Cause there's nothing about this component and this marriage of notes that screams 300 plus anything dollars. Ultra pleasing, nothing crazy or groundbreaking, but for $45, we Gucci. For 300 and something, you're bugging, next one. And finally, Imaginary, which is Louis Vuitton Imagination. Now this one seems to be the more expensive one, I think, lingering around that $50 space. We'll see why, I don't know if it's a little bit more complex, a little bit more popular, or maybe it has some hype that I don't know about. Now the notes in this one are Neroli, <laughs> black tea, bergamot, ginger, and ambroxan. So the Neroli, as long as it's not the prominent note, it doesn't bother me full blown. If it becomes a prominent note in this particular fragrance, I will throw this test strip across the fucking room. Let's see. Definitely not the prominent note. Seems to be that the black tea is the one kind of holding the reins a little bit, but for a limited time, as the ginger is slowly following it. No, but still, black tea is still holding its power and its title up top. This is more of an older, more mature kind of scent profile, and I'm still sticking with this whole LV concept. Like, for 300, 280, whatever they're charging for their retail fragrances, I would be tight if I blind bought that. Forget about going to the store and actually smelling it and liking it and buying it, that's a completely different scenario, but if I went to a blind buy, a Louis Vuitton fragrance just based on the note, and I paid $300 for this particular scent profile, <laughs> bro, what's your return policy? This is my least favorite from them. This doesn't smell that great or interesting. And I love a tea fragrance, but this particular tea fragrance is just kind of muted. There's not much layers in this fragrance for me to get excited about. The other two definitely had more of a mass appeal quality. This one is a bit subdued and a little basic boring grandpa-ish kind of vibe. Yeah, that one doesn't do shit for me. That's not one that I want to test on my skin. These are inspired by something else, so I'm not blaming them. I'm blaming Louis Vuitton for ass ramming people with this stupid price point and scent profile. All right, so let's go tiger on one hand. I want to smell them both. Here, we're going to do one spray of tiger. Ooh, that shit pops. Woo! Tiger is so far going to be the winner, but let's see meteorite on the other one. All right, did a two spray because that one kind of went off the hand. Tiger one is just taking over the airwaves right now. Beautiful sillage, crystallized bubble of citric nuance. Oh yeah, your tiger slaps. Citric, sour, icicle-ish, Marnelli ice cream with the wood scrapes. Summertime vibes, I need the warm weather. I wanna lay in the beach in my mankini with my butt cheeks tanning. Did you know some people tan their asshole? I just wanna throw that Snapple fact out there. I've never done that to my leather cheerio, but that's crazy. All right, so let's go, oof, tigers, fucking money. All right, let's go to meteorite. Oh, well that definitely changed on skin. That one picked up a little bit more maturity. You still got that soapy, clean situation. There's a little bit of a candle wax kind of vibe coming off the skin. It definitely smells better on the skin, at least my skin or what it's doing on my skin. It agrees a lot more, just not for a retail price. There is a sliced lemon, slight, tonic water fizziness coming off my skin. There's also a like luxury candle wax situation. Wildly easy to wear, but kind of addicting. There's something alluring about this joint that I'm surprised I'm enjoying a little bit more than I thought I would. There's a mild dry muskiness coming off the skin, almost slightly metallic. That's actually very good. That's surprisingly very good. All right, so imaginary is a no-no for me. As far as it being a one-to-one -one clone or close, I can't confirm or deny, same thing with Meteorite, but Imaginary just smelled a little bit too elderly, a little bit just blah. Meteorite 
more surprising, definitely better on skin than it is on the test strip. More fun, even though it's still kind of basic in its own right, but a basic one that hits. I'm just shocked that Louis Vuitton would put this in a fucking presentation and charge you so much money. That shit is dumb, like, it's like a Louis V t-shirt. Like, some of us buy that stupid shit just for the brand recognition and the name advertising, but it's still a freaking t-shirt. Smells good though. That Tiger Cologne, is the star of these three. Bright, citrus, ultra sexy, masculine. It hit all that fire nuance that I'm looking for. This would go perfect with this type of fit. So if I were to choose any of them, I would say Tiger Cologne, number one. Meteorite would be a strong number two contender. Imaginary, chuck that shit across the room. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Shout out to Montagne. I apologize for butchering your name. I'll put a link in the description. Thank you for providing my audience with a discount and sponsor in today's video. I mean, it's got me curious to see what other joints that they have on their website. If you have any hits from this particular website that you've tried that I must smell, leave it in the comments below and maybe we'll try it on a future video. These two are completely different, but they're both addictive as shit. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game. The tiger one is mm, smooches. Money for the roller roller star tag when it's time to call back. Oh. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>